I'm going to show you how to set up the temperature detection analytic on a WiseNet thermal radiometric camera. In this example, I have a TNO 4030TR, and I've got some objects I'm trying to monitor here. I can use the spot temperature mode here and get some temperature readings uh, on the screen here. And so I've got this object here in the middle that I want to monitor and be alerted if the temperature goes too high. So in the setup menu, the first thing we need to take a look at is under video and audio in temperature setup. And we need to set up my temperature units, uh, whether I want Fahrenheit or Celsius, what the color palette is, I can always change that later, and then the spot emissivity. So if I'm looking at a specific type of equipment, uh, it's useful to put in the emissivity of what type of material that is so that it gets the most accurate reading. Then from there we go to the analytics menu and temperature detection. First we will enable the analytic. Then we can draw up to three zones here shown ABC and so I'm just going to click and draw a box for zone A. I can adjust it, I can move it around. You can also right click if you need to delete it and start over. Once I have my zone created, I can then tell it what type of analytic to do. Do I want to be notified if the temperature goes above a certain temperature, below a certain temperature, or if the average temperature changes? So I'm going to say maximum, and then you say um, above or below, or increase, decrease. So if the maximum temperature goes above a certain amount, goes below a certain amount, or it increases by a certain amount. So I'm going to say if the maximum temperature goes over 90 degrees in this example here, and I want it to be sustained for a certain amount of time, anywhere from 1 second to 60 seconds. So I'm going to put in 5 seconds in this example. We also have options for an overlay to show on the screen. I'm going to go and enable all of these so that you can see it. Hit apply. And you'll see that now there's text on the screen that shows me some real-time data of zone A. You can pick and choose if you only want to see uh, certain pieces of information. We can uh, disable them as needed. If you have multiple zones, again, you'll see all of that displayed on screen. So the overlay can be configured per zone. We also have an area emissivity. So again, uh, what the object I'm looking at is, what type of material it is, you can look that up on the internet of emissivity of different objects, of different materials. And then we also have a PTZ handover if I want to have a pan flip zoom camera come over when that analytic is triggered. And then we have our normal uh, event actions down here and our normal event activation uh, scheduling. Once you're all set, hit apply, and you'll see a red frame around this box when the temperature analytic is triggered. So you can see this one here, I said if it's above 68 degrees for more than five seconds, zone B is, and so we see the red frame around the uh, video there. And here you can see the camera is just about getting to that 90 degrees at that um, zone A. And once it goes above 90 and stays there for five seconds, then you can see we get the red frame around it, the trigger. To learn more about this and other exciting Hanwha products, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us at hanwhasecurity.com.